Hello everybody, this is Shamla Patasati. Today I'm going to show you a recipe which usually they serve as a side dish for roti, chapati, dosa or puri. It's vegetable kurma which is a quick preparation. Now let us see the ingredients required. Here I've kept peeled out badam of 10 counts which was soaked in water for 3 hours, that is hot water. Now we will be blending this using little milk. I have taken here quarter cup of milk along with the cream. So we will blend it into a paste. This is the first step. I have finished blending it. The thing is the quarter cup of milk which we have taken, I had first blended the badam into paste. Then I had mixed the leftover milk to it. Now I'll keep this aside. Here are the vegetables which I have steam cooked for 5 minutes and it's ready. The vegetables that I have taken here is potato, potatoes, 3 medium size, cubed and I have cut it into cubes, 2 fist of patani that is peas, carrot 1 medium size which I have chopped and kept and beans 13 counts. So all it chopped, cooked, that is in steam for 5 minutes. The same way I had steamed even the cauliflower. Cauliflower I have taken into 1 cup. So the florets, you can take it into a small florets or little medium size as I have taken here now. So these are ready. So while steaming it, before keeping it, keeping it for steaming, I had mixed little salt to it. Now, so this is the second step that is also ready. Now, we'll be going to the final step. I've kept the pan here. I lit the stove and once it has becomes hot, we'll be adding the oil. Now, the oil has become hot. Now, each time as I'm adding the ingredients, I will give you the proportion. Now, here I've taken two medium sized onions finely chopped. We will be frying this till it becomes little translucent. It has become translucent. Now we will be adding two finely, two medium sized finely chopped tomatoes. Let it get cooked. Now I forgot to say in the beginning the oil which I added was three tablespoons of oil that I had added. Now for the onion and the tomato to get little cooked I am going to add little quantity of salt so that it get cooked fast 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and 2 green chilies slit we will be frying this till the ginger garlic raw smell goes away now we will all this while I was doing it in medium flame now I will slow down the flame and I will be start adding all the masalas here I have taken half a teaspoon of jeera powder, half a teaspoon of coriander powder. Keep going on mixing it. Let it be in the low flame. Next, half a teaspoon of chili powder. Then half a teaspoon of garam masala powder. Sort it out for a few seconds. It is all being done in the low flame. Now we will be adding the badam paste that is mixed with milk. See that you do it in the low flame. Keep mixing it up. Otherwise it will stick on to the base. Fry it for a few minutes. Now we will be adding the vegetables which was steamed. Now we have added here badam paste that is blended in milk to get a thick good texture now we keep mixing it up and then add water to it now add the required quantity of salt but while adding salt just remember we have we have slightly sprinkled salt already when the vegetable was on the steaming as well as for the tomato and onion so you will have to check and then add the salt slightly. 
now we will be adding the water so that the vegetable will absorb the masalas let it get cooked for another 5 minutes in this I have added one totally one and a half glass of water let it boil let it boil till the raw smell goes away and the vegetables absorbs the masalas yes it's ready now before serving just check up the salt requirement or spicy one and here the gravy I have done it is little thickening here if you want you can add some more water I have added only one and a half glass of water now here most of the people while preparing kurma they add curd but here I have added badam paste which was blended along with the milk and I have added here already but for garnishing also you can keep some and just make the for the hell uh, garnishing also now here it is ready now you can switch off the flame and garnish it with coriander leaves here I have garnished with coriander leaves let us take it into the serving bowl yes now it's ready try this recipe and send your comments if you like this video like share and subscribe see you in the next video bye for now